Sam, a good start. Today's game with the black pieces seemed like a clean win. Oh, no. I mean, I, I hope it was a clean win. It certainly it felt messy. I wasn't always sure what was going on. Uh, after d takes c5, bishop takes c5, e3, knight takes e3, it's just messy. I mean, I'm guessing the computer will say black's better. I mean, he does have material up and stuff, but I was just I saw all these ghosts with knight e4, queen g4, and horrible things happening. But I think once he went knight e2, queen g5, it's already starting to turn in my favor. And uh, when he played queen b3, I think this loses to just queen takes b5. But queen b1, I couldn't bust, at least not at the board. I mean, maybe I'm winning somehow, but I didn't see it. Um, he also, I think, if he had played e3 instead of d takes c5, I, th I think white's definitely not worse there. But, uh, well, I was happy enough with my play. Right, now you were here uh, last in 2010, you were telling me, and now you're back. This is your first time in Gibraltar as a grandmaster. What brings you back after so many years? Well, uh, it's for a while I was in school, so I couldn't really play because it was conflicting with the school year. And then uh, last year, I guess I could have played and I chose not to. The year before, I was going to play actually, but I got an invite to Vikanze, which overlapped, and Stuart was nice enough to let me play that instead. So uh, yeah, it's just been a long time, I guess the four years of school, the one Vikanze, and then one time I chose not to, but I'm certainly glad to be back. It's really nice here. Early days, but have you had a look around? How do you find it till now? Well, I went to The Rock uh, the day before the tournament started, and that was awesome. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying it more now than I, was, I did then. I mean, at the time, I was just like 18 or something. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't have anyone to go around and take care of me, so I kind of just stayed in the room. And like, and I played decent chess, I suppose, but uh, I didn't really have much fun. Uh, but so far here, I'm enjoying myself more. I'm having better food. I got to go to The Rock, you know, and uh, well, there's a lot of rounds to go, but I think I'm showing pretty decent form so far. A big result of the Olympiad for the U.S. team as well uh, in Baku. How has life changed after that? Uh, not as much as I would have liked. Uh, I would like, you know, get invited to the White House and all that, but that certainly didn't happen. Um, uh, but, you know, it's certainly nice to have another gold medal in my trophy case at home. Now, we also heard that you were working with Magnus for the World Championship. How was that as an experience? Uh, well, obviously, I can't comment too much on it. I can't comment on it specifically what I was doing, but it was really eye-opening to work with him. Uh, uh, he has a reputation sort of for being pretty lazy, and it's somewhat deserved, but I think people also underestimate just how much he works and uh, the quality of his preparation. He does, probably doesn't put as many sheer hours in as other people, but when he's really focused on chess, he's very driven, and he produces a lot in a short amount of time. And Well, I, I certainly learned a lot from it, um, but uh, yeah, I, I probably shouldn't comment more than that. Well, thanks for that. And this is your first event of the year, your expectations. Uh, how important is it for you? Well, it's certainly nice to play well in the first event, and there's a lot of prize money in this one, so I'd like to do well. But uh, ultimately, you know, even if I, if I crash and burn this event or if I win it, either way, I'm the same distance from 2,800, and that's the ultimate goal. So really, I'm just trying to play good chess, challenge myself as much as I can, and uh, yeah, the rest will just come. We wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. Thanks much.